Okay, here we are today in Blender 4.1, and we're going to have a little look at uh, a little technique that's usually referred to something along the lines of linking or transferring data. And you can access this menu by simply pressing Control L on the keyboard. But the way this works, or when you might want to do this, is when you have a whole bunch of objects and you want them all to have the same material, or you want to replace an existing set of objects with an instance of, a, of, of, of one object. And let's just illustrate this. So if I take my cube and I do a Shift D to duplicate it, and if I just press Y so it translates in the Y axis, and I can press Shift R to, to repeat that, now I'm going to just press Z on my keyboard and I'm going to go to Material Preview. I'm going to select my first cube and I'm just going to drag up on the timeline and turn this into a shader editor. And I'm going to change the color of this to red. And you can see that all the cubes currently have the same material. Let's change that. Let's give them all their own material. So I press this button here, makes that into a new material. You can change this to green. Uh, and again, we'll give the third cube its own material and it's going to be blue. So you can see our three cubes all have their own material. Now from this point I am going to go back to my first cube and I'm just going to make an adjustment to the geometry so that we can see that this first cube is not an instance of the other cubes. Um, and also let's add a modifier to this cube, uh, say just something simple like a bevel modifier like so. And now what I can do uh, is I can select uh, my third cube and if I press shift I can select the second cube and now I can select the red cube, the first cube. And if I go to wireframe just to illustrate you can see that the the last object I selected is a lighter orange than the other two objects, signifying that it's the active object. And you can also see that in the outline or two where the last object I've selected is active. So when we do the control L to link data or transfer data, it's gonna transfer from the active object to the any other objects that are selected. So if we now do that, uh, go back to material preview. If I do my control L right now, I can link materials. So it's going to take the material from my red cube and put it back on the green and blue cube. You can do a control Z to undo that. Uh, and do another control L and we can link object data. So it's uh, it's now created an instance, or it's, it's converted the, the green and blue cubes into instances of the red, but it hasn't copied the modifier. So we do another control L, I can also copy the modifier across. And so now not only are my cubes instances of the first cube they are now also have copies of the modifier as well and i believe if i change the amount the setting of the of the modifier is not an instance in this case